The city of Rio de Janeiro is committed to promoting green energy. In a recent ranking of the top 100 most sustainable companies, three of them are based in Brazil. CCTV, CCTV's Helen Clegg talked to some of these business about the challenges they're facing to go green. There are over 6,000 species of plants in Jardim Botanico in Rio de Janeiro, many of them rare. To build its vast herbarium, Jardim Botanico is working on a revolutionary project to digitally repatriate species of plants from Kew Gardens in London. It's just one of the initiatives sponsored by Brazilian companies that are promoting green technology. Our botanical garden uh, is financed by private companies. We have an official governmental budget, but it's insufficient. So we have to supplement with uh, funds given by some companies. Several Brazilian companies have been commended for taking sustainability seriously. The oil company Petrobras, for example, sponsors a number of projects, including the Ilhas do Rio Conservation Project on the Cagajas Islands opposite Ipanema, one of the best known beaches in the world. Here at Rio Plus 20, means of implementing sustainability has been a major sticking point, and that includes incorporating it into business, a challenge for a country like Brazil. Despite being an emerging economy, it's still very much a developing country and understandably worried about the costs of expanding sustainably. Fabio Barbosa, head of media group Abril SA, who has just won a UN award for sustainable business practices, has been trying to push sustainability in Brazil since 2000. I think from the beginning it was clear to me that there was no dilemma between trying to run the company properly and look also into the sustainability issues. I think uh, Professor Milton Friedman said the business of business is business. Probably was right, but as time moves, I think today you have to reconsider and it's probably it's the business of business is sustainable business. The discussions continue at Rio Plus 20 on how to expand business without damaging the environment, particularly in developing countries. Helen Clegg, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.